everybody look what I've got yeah I've been waiting for this for nine weeks and it gives you also a feeling that life is beginning again the borders are opening up and things are happening yesterday a friend of mine she got the news that she's got the key to her house that's the Dutch witch that you all know from the series and with the deck from Marla Brooks the witch's oracle deck and now I've got the Shadowlands from Monica Bravinsky and I hope to get another interview done with Monica and I'm so happy so let's go and open the box yes I'm so happy lovely right this is what I've been waiting for and I've been telling you all about it wow let's have a look I'll open it hold on and this is so great it uh, my birthday is next month and wow I just feel it is if it's my birthday has come uh, right uh, I'm not like the usual uh, peep influencer or whatever you call them um, I'm just going to take my time and I'm going to really go through each deck and these cards are really sturdy they'll be good for shuffling look at that so have a good look at that I hope you can see it they're so full of color and detail I don't know where Monica gets the ideas from so I hope you can see the ca even the cat instead of a dog that's lovely I love it and then you've got the magician looks like a crazy housewife <laughs> I love this humor absolutely magic all the elements great stuff I like the way this lady thinks you know I really do the high priestess she is using simple things like feathers and the broom instead of a, a, a beautiful ornate stick the empress look at that I love it I love it I love it I love it I haven't even seen the cards myself I've got to watch them upside down but the empress is in the tree and I think it looks like she's got a big tummy like birthing pregnant right the Emperor and you know these cards are just like my um, house of shadows it's the same author so I'll be doing the week readings with these <gasps> the higher the hierophant yeah looks more like a shaman yeah, well, a hierophant is like a shaman. The lovers. The lovers. Oh, I like that little heart. It just reminds me that people from the other realm, they just, I just like the way she thinks, you know. Usually you see two lovers together, but it's like you're never far apart, whether you're in this world or in the next. And these cards are really sturdy hold on this is number seven the chariot and the spiders are the horses uh, I love the sense of humor in these cards I love it strength strength and he's got a weight showing the strength and then the little girl Taming the monster. She's holding a little red cat like a devil. <laughs> and you can see that the girl's leg is part of the lady's um, body. So, you know, it's she's got the fat monster leg here. So, we can change, chop and change. I'm going to learn this 
me, I'm going to use this like mad. The Hermit. The Wheel of Fortune. They're even more vibrant and more fun than I ever could imagine. Than I imagined. And then we've got Justice. Justice. The Hanged Man. That's the bat. I think he's awesome. I don't think they're scary at all. I love it. Then you've got the death. I just don't know. I just got this in my mind. Cradling a new beginning. Leaving the past. The big ugly things behind. Temptation. Or rather temperance. Sorry. The devil. Doesn't he look eerie? And it looks like SOS and it looks like dollar signs. So we'll go I'll get into these cards once I've had a look at them myself. But I'm sharing it with you because I'll I tell you, I told you, I've got things happening, big things, and this is the tower. It looks like the Adams family house and the, the towers coming down. The star. Yahoo! This is also looks like that, that little man. I forgot his name from the Adams family with the long hair. Hiding behind the hair. You can see the eyes though. He's got a can of water of paint. In other words, you can make your wish come true. Whatever it is, the moon. The moon. Again, in the uh, House of Shadows, the moon also has the head of the wolf or a dog. A mask. The sun. Yahoo! And then we've got discretion. the wise owl right right I love it I love it and discretion is justice we know that as justice and then we've got the world The Ace of Pentacles. And it's a crystal ball, I think. It represents a, a pentacle. And then we've got a mummy. The Two of Pentacles. Dancing on a coin. Mm. The Three of Pentacles. Don't you think they're fun? of pentacles. He's sweet. He looks like a little gnome gone wrong. <laughs> it brings out the sense of humor in you, definitely. And then we've got the five of pentacles. And Bigfoot is waiting to see what the people are doing. He feels left out. He wants to join in the picnic. And then we've got the six of pentacles. Ah. A present. Somebody from the past bringing you a present. I think it's so nice. The Seven of Pentacles. And these are flyer, fly traps or fly plants that eat flies. So well thought through. The Eight of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles. You're going to break free out of the cage. 
endings, new beginning, better beginning. He might have felt trapped. The Ten of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles. Well, I, you know, you would say that these cards are really sturdy. I get the feeling as if I've got two cards at the same time. The King of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles. Hang on a minute. That was the Knight. That wasn't the King. That was the Knight. The Page. And that is the Knight. Sorry. That's the Knight. And uh, I think that's a very good depiction. A snail. Because um, that is the slowest Knight in the deck. And we've got the Queen. Oh, I love it. I love this card. This deck. This deck has been worth waiting for King of Pentacles the Ace of Swords the Feather oh and I thought it was um, the spiders that was the air representati representation Monica didn't tell me <laughs> if you go to the interview then I ask it is the spider that's the swords, isn't it? And she, di she, sh she didn't let on. <laughs> and, ah, this is the bat again. The three of swords. Needles in a heart instead of the swords. Thank you, Monica. This is really brilliant. If you're watching, you've got the four of swords. Uh, how imaginary, imaginative look hanging uh, a hang mat Ooh, I love it I love it and then you've got the five of swords there's the corn that's the five she keeps it really vibrant she also is very imaginative do not see any swords in the five of swords only the corn so the corn represents the swords there but here you can see um, uh, a dragon like uh, Nessie the dragon of the loch yeah the six of swords seven of swords again using arrows really great eight of swords Feathers again. There's lots to see. And this is the Nine of Swords, one of my favourites in this deck. Because of all these spiders. The mummy spider and baby spiders. Ten of Swords, again, arrows. The Page of Swords. Oh, I think sweet. The Knight of Swords. There's a bat. He's quick. He's flying through the air. The Queen of Swords. Well, I think that is the best Queen of Swords I've ever seen. Because the swords stand for wisdom. And she's looking in her bookcase. Really amazing. Good, good, good. And the King of Swords. And he's signing contracts, doing business, traditional things. What has he got on his head? Oh, he's a bat. And he's got some kind of a bookcase or something behind it as well. And these are his wings. I tell you, go out and get them. Go out and get them. They're magic. Ace of Wands, the hand, again the hand from the Adams family, Wands, the two of Wands, candles, the three of Wands, looking into the future. 
the Four of Wands. The Five of Wands. And with this deck, I will have most probably more information that I have to study up, not just what I see or what my intuition says, but also, um, and besides the uh, traditional meaning, the Six of Wands. I see a lot of things in here, color, vibrancy, action, and really thought through. I could never do something like this. I wish I was so ma uh, majestic that I could create beautiful things like this. The Eight of Wands. The Nine of Wands. The Ten of Wands. It's logs instead of twigs. That really represents the heaviness. Page of Wands. The Knight of Wands. Look at the passion. The red rose and then fiery. The Queen of Wands. That's awesome too. Look at that hair. And the black. King of Wands. The Ace of Cups. Ah. Oh. The Two of Cups. Ah, oh, kissy kissy. <laughs> the Three of Cups. cards are really really thick and they're great the four of cups the five of cups the six of cups a tea party a bit like Alice in Wonderland and the Seven of Cups. Dreams and goals. Okay. Um, eight of Cups. He's leaving his litter behind. <laughs> That's the humor in these cards. The Nine of Cups. They're awesome, and the Ten of Cups are creation, abundance, pots of paint. Page, oh, reminds me, I have to start decorating as well. Page of Cups. The Knight of Cups. The Queen of Cups. Isn't she joyful? Music sounds like music to my ears and she loves music most probably or romantic music okay and the king of cups awesome thank you monica and shifer publishers thank you very much i finally got my deck awesome and they're gilded on the edge and they're really good quality cards really really good now let's see and they they slide over each other. They really they don't bend so easily as some uh, cards do in some decks. They're really really great quality, more like the old-fashioned card quality from Diana Virtue decks. Really brilliant. This is really great stuff, and that's the backing. I love it. it the vibrancy. They feel good. They feel full of humor, warmth, generosity, really, they're really great. And now I don't have to look other at other people with their deck, I've got my own. So, and they're really brilliant. They really shake well, shuffle very nicely. It's just that I've got a bit of arthritis, so this is really better because they stay they don't bend you can really look they don't bend okay great stuff and they're a matte finish 
they're not glossy so that's even better when you're on camera because then you don't have that sheen and everybody can be see the pictures clearly and again a beautiful box with a magnet you can put it in the bookcase and it looks like a book again laying handy um, and it is sturdier than the other box that I had because you can see it is tougher just take it out it's thicker than the other one I have with the enchanted tarot yeah the cardboard is thicker and tougher and the book and you do have reviews on the back of the book from other uh, card uh, psychics or card readers and I think they're beautiful and again this is must be something with Schiffer because I don't know whether the authors have done, uh, thought of this but it is like the enchanted dream tarot you've got uh, keywords and you've got the other side to it you've got the message you've got the, what the card means and in the like tasks in the enchanted um, in, uh, dream tarot it's it's called the tasks I think but this is reflections so that is awesome really really great and it's much easier for beginners to learn this way and especially with such a deck with humor so it's much easier to learn when you've got a romantic deck or that you've got a deck full of humor you've got both sides to it you don't have to be scared of this this is fun this really draws you in and you want to get stuck into the cards and learn amazing Thank you. Great stuff. Well, after I made the video, I went back and I looked and I some some uh, pictures you didn't see. But this is what the book looks like. You've got every single card in color. Cups and ones, ones and cups. And Big Arcana is separate, but the rest of the suits, the pages, knights, cups, and kings and queens are <coughs> all there. Now, what I have to learn is the shadow side, so that is quite. And I was thinking about it because I've been busy, obviously. Um, you've got the keywords, and then you've got the shadow. The shadow, and I, I was thinking to myself, what happens if they are reversed? So actually, um, I think that's another way of um, the words the, that are the shadows are like the reverse. So yeah, I've got a, a lot to read and a lot to digest. And I just would like to show you some more things. How to use the cards. Then you've got cl uh, clearing and charging the cards and how to store them. And also this, I noticed this. This is just a spider with the number of the page. And then you've got um, significa uh, significa sorry, significators. A uh, significator is any card in a tarot or oracle deck that represents you. So that's the card from the querent. You have to find your significator or your querent card and timing your readings um, and th there's a lot of information time of stress indecision and anxiety are often times when we reach out for a tarot deck to find answers I'm going to suggest that when you are extremely anxious you might want to refrain from reading cards when you are feeling stressed and read your cards several things can occur none of which are particularly helpful in a panic. You may keep pulling cards until you receive the answer you are looking for and instead of listening to the initial advice given and you may project your anxiety onto the meaning of the cards and feel unable to be objective and that is why I never read my own cards. I ask a colleague or a friend to read my cards and see what they say.
and then it goes on to uh, timing your readings N new or dark moon this is the time I used to sit back and reflect on the month preceding and where I'm currently emotionally uh, physically spiritually and psychologically I do not make decisions generally speaking I simply take stock of progress and that's the si dark side of moon and the waxing moon and the full moon and the waning moon <coughs> that's beautiful and I think I'm going to do that with this deck I'm going to uh, when I'm going to see what uh, time it is of the moon when I, I do the readings and I'll bring that into the readings as well so that you can uh, profit from the review and the readings even more um, how to ask questions so when you learning how do you ask questions to the cards and to your querent of course and there is symbolism within the RW that's the Riot Weight tarot system the four suits of the minor arcana represent the cardinal directions for elements and temporary situations we in encounter throughout our days and lives the number in each suit of the minor arcana start with the ace and ends with the ten so it's very very clearly written if you are beginning to learn the tarot cards and it goes on to the minor arcana of each the swords the pentacles the cups the wands and then it goes on to the major um, arcana and then you get all the uh, numerology as well what each card means this is the numerology and I think that's magnificent a brilliant idea if you don't know so the fool or the seeker at the beginning of a journey and seeking so you can uh, instead of learning the pages if you're an advanced reader then you can have a look what the Shadowlands meaning uh, also means quickly uh, the magician having the tools of the trade and using them so you've also got the numerology of the cards not the way I uh, thought about numerology the meanings of what number uh, one is you know, the beginning number two um, like that's the uh, infant you've got the baby number one the infant the child the houses so that's the way that's the way I think of numerology so hang on a minute I might be wrong ah, you do have numerology you've got the interpretations of the cards of the bigger arcana and then you've got the numerology one or an ace is single new beginnings start initiate solitary seeds fresh new initiative energy independence vision two dualism couple partnership cooperations balance conflict dilemma i think that is really this the first time i've seen anybody this um, using the numerology one to ten and 10 is of course completion and beginnings um, accomplishments culmination definite conclusive so that is really when like six like I always say balance balance restored change within stability harmony equity victory appreciation peach and fairness peace and fairness then you've got the court cards the pages the knights the queens the kings and then she also goes into reversals but in this deck I don't think you can go into reversals as I mentioned in the introductions I do not read reversals for Shadowland Tarot since each card holds both positive and more challenging attributes that is quite true that's the shadows if you wish to use reversals in your readings and want to reference the meaning in the book as well one method might be to uh, negate the meaning or exaggerate it for example the three of swords includes the key words words such as healing and recovery and the underlying shadow of denial and grief 
that's why I said I had to go back because I was thinking about that because these cards do make you think and want to come back so actually the shadow is like a reversal so I, I, and I had to learn that because I thought what does Monica mean by shadow okay and the recovery you know, underlying shadow of denial and grief if I were to use a reversal for this I might take the shadow words enlisted and tell the person that it is at a crucial stage or extreme uh, another way to read this card in a reversal position might be to see process of healing from grieving at the very end of a cycle and very near completion that is absolutely beautiful I love this book spiritual hygiene and reading environment now I've never heard anybody um, mention that before but I'm conscious of it and you need ab I need absolute peace and some somewhere is quiet where you feel homely okay many people find the kitchen table suitable some us uh, some use apps on a subway during a rush hour com commutes and others like to conduct reading outdoors underneath a tree whenever you decide to read your cards know yourself and know where you feel most comfortable being relaxed and open energy and aware of your body uh, reactions is important so choose with care uh, I, uh, yeah she also says I read in one or two spaces that are comfortable and have good table space one is a wooden table made of dark heavy piece of walnut uh, that my husband and partner Alan made I find the res res re resonance of the wood beneficial for my readings the other is my wooden studio table where I create art if I have been asked to read at events or during con conferences and functions I have a small travel kit that has a specific table covering and an essential oil spray to cleanse the area to begin a session after sorting out candles and cleansing I thank my ancestors and ask for assistance so I may effectively deliver the information that my client needs to hear I do this before each reading at the end of the reading I thank my ancestors and guides for their assistance and ensure I leave the space free of any residual grief anxiety or negativity and she also goes into how you shuffle the cards and then you've got uh, card layouts or spreads as I call them single cards yes and no and the morning card an evening card or a card for a journey okay then you've got transitions okay during time of change the past and present and the future the mind the body and the spirit that's the three uh, card spread that's so I'm just going to show you what I've just been reading that's the uh, the interpretations of the cards this is the numerology it's good that I let you see it like this because you can't see it um, upside down but I can't read upside down <laughs> uh, not too much court cards reversals spiritual hygiene re uh, reading environment how to shovel them the three sp uh, the three spread cards yes and no morning evening and a journey and that's the three the past the present and the future mind body and soul it just explains and then you've got the four and then you've got the five card spread then you've got the six card spread and some people call the five card spread also the cross or the star because of the points so and that's then the seven card spread and that's my favorite the nine card spread 
and then the four card moon cycle spread that would be interesting but I think um, that would apply more to Wendy and Monica because then uh, I'm a nature lover but they work with differently than I do um, but I think it's the w w you read this is the the first card represents the uh, dark moon and then the uh, second card represents the waxing moon the third card represents the um, represents the full moon okay and that is the waning moon I think yes and um, this I usually use for a yearly spread and um, what do they call it the 13 moon spread okay um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's the, I use this as the um, the yearly spread. Clearing your own spreads. It's a very informative book, and these are just questions, answers, and questions. Can you change your destiny if you receive a bad reading? Now, um. I always say you do, you can you you are the one that makes decisions let's see what Monica says my personal belief is of both free will and destiny we may each receive whatever luck has been passed on to us through ancestry or given a destiny but we also have free will to choose our paths in life now she explains it really simply in <coughs> in Jack and Jill language and, and that's what I like about this book as well it's not all this technical jarg jargon because I'm not well uh, I'm not that intelligent that I can understand let's say that difficult language that advocates or jurists do but this is Jack and Jill language normal language how often can you or should you use the cards are the cards non uh, non nominational non denominational well I think so but everybody has their own so I'll leave that question for you and you can see it in the book does shuffling the cards in a particular way or even in a general uh, matter right. what if a card falls out of the deck while shuffling should I use it? And I do. Others do, some don't. Does it matter if I use a significate card? Yes, you should w always work from out the significate card. But if you're doing this course or if you get this this book and these cards, then it's you will learn step by step. Are cards a portable for spirit life? Uh, a Luigi board. Are ca tarot cards a port portal, an opening for spirits like Luigi board? Well, I wouldn't. I don't touch that. No. How else can I use cards? You can use them as collector's items, as creative prompts for writing, or in spellcasting. And this would be a really good deck for. Wendy can I let others touch my cards I don't but a lot of people do but you have to clean them and um, it goes on and on and on and on and there's about 17 questions very good solid questions clear and they've got beautiful definitions and then you've got a conclusion and the conclusion says thank you for journeying through Shadowlands with me and sharing the experience of peering into our lives. Remember to be kind and patient with yourself and not to expect miraculous mi uh, miracles overnight. Changes. We spend years accumulating our shadows and even when we feel we ha have shed light on them and vanished them from ever, forever or from ever returning 
may have a way of creeping back into our lives. Sometimes life just keeps handing us shadows or we can pick up a few extra along the way. If this occurs, remember to stay calm and laugh in the face of your oppressors or stresses. Revisit Shadowland and persevere. I wish you a tremendous success and joy on your continuous journey of happiness and fulfillment and would love to hear feedback about your experiences. Visit me online www.monikabodersky.com on Facebook and Monika Bodersky Design and on Instagram at Monika Bodersky. She's a lovely lady and you can approach her. You get when you when you I did the interview and I felt right at home with her. She's so beautiful. Characterized and intelligent and yeah, well I think she's lovely. She's a really beautiful person. She's so approachable, just like the other interview I've done as well. So go and have a look at my channel, go and have a look at the reviews, go and have a look at the decks and my readings and the series and I hope to see you in the live and I hope you give you the thumbs up. Let Monica know and me what you think of her deck and her book and my review of course. So please <coughs> join me in the live sessions Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Take care, be blessed and stay safe. Please share and like your family and friends. Thank <laughs> you.